Members of the House Energy and Commerce Subcommittee held a hearing today asking questions about how the deadly Maui wildfires possibly started. Officials from Hawaiian Electric and other local agencies took part. National correspondent Stephanie Sandoval has more now from the hearing. More than seven weeks after deadly wildfires swept through the Hawaiian island of Maui, a congressional hearing is seeking answers about how the deadly wildfires started. Hawaii energy officials were brought in for questioning, including the president and CEO of Hawaiian Electric. The electric utility has been hit with several lawsuits, including one filed by Maui County that accused the company of acting negligently by failing to power down their electrical equipment, despite a National Weather Service red flag warning on August 7th. Hawaiian Electric has denied allegations that its downed power lines caused the deadly fire, insisting they had been de-energized for more than six hours before a second fire began in the afternoon. The cause of that afternoon fire that spread to Lahaina has not been determined. We are working tirelessly to figure out what happened, and we are cooperating fully with federal and state investigators. Questions in Thursday's hearings centered around what role the electrical grid may have played in the Maui fires. Hawaiian Electric CEO Shelly Kimura has admitted her company's downed power lines may have caused the initial morning fire, which was eventually contained by the Maui Fire Department. Later that afternoon, a second fire started in the same area, which eventually destroyed the town of Lahaina, killing at least 97 people and many others still missing. Now questions about whether the power lines were fully de-energized are under debate. So can you explain what exactly HCO, sh when exactly HCO shut the power off to its lines that day? What, what, when did that happen? So just before 7 a.m., uh, none of our lines in the West Maui area serving customers were energized. And how can you confirm that the lines were not energized at that time? This is based on a lot of our system data, so our SCADA data, our, um, our smart meters, and discussions with our employees. The National Weather Service issued a high wind watch and a fire warning, warning that strong winds could knock down power lines and start a fire. There are also questions about whether electrical lines should be underground moving forward. Kimura said about 50% of the power lines in Hawaii are underground. As an urban planner and knowing the conditions underground, uh, especially in Hawaii, mm -hmm. you can hit, hit, you hit the water table pretty quickly. Sure. So those are other considerations, more technical considerations that we need to look at. Um, there is a cost to maintaining those lines under, underground. Sure. I days. get it, but sometimes the cost of doing nothing to, turns out to be prohibitive also. The cause of the Maui wildfire is still under investigation. Stephanie Sandoval, Scripps News.